This is the completed uh, shell um, taped on the wasp. I've got the fuse hole uh, sealed and marked as the top of the shell. I've got the equator marked and an inch above the equator marked to see where it floats in the water. Um, and the whole shell is sealed with Minwax wood hardener, two coats of Minwax wood hardener to really waterproof it for this test. So what I'm doing is filling a uh, garbage can full of water and I'll video just plunking the shell in various orientations into the water to see if it orients itself, how quickly it orients itself, um, how stable it is once it's oriented and also where in relation to the equator the shell is floating with the water line. Um, so we shall see. Well I think what I'll do first is sort of set it into the water with the fuse down and see uh, see how it orients, what to do when it orients. Well, it's certainly wobbling. I'll need to have plenty of time fuse on it if I want it to stabilize nicely. I wonder if there's some way to uh, stabilize that more quickly. That's taking a good half minute. I'll have to time it on the video, but that's taking a good half minute or so to stabilize. If that were to blow about now, that would be pretty good, I think. It is floating uh, a little off-center um, in terms of the time fuse. And it's floating on this side. That's about a, oh, a half inch above the equator. And over here it's about two inches above the equator. So I would say on average it's uh, floating probably an inch and a half above the equator. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do that again and time that wobble. I'd like to have that pretty well stabilized by the time it blows. Um, I guess if that were to blow about, it wouldn't be horrible if that blew about now. I'd like it to be a little more stable, and right now it's real right at a half minute right now. I don't think I can put much more than 30 seconds of time fuse on the thing. So I'd want to, I'd want to have a good 30 seconds of time fuse on it. I'm going to do that one more time and see what that looks like. Definitely orienting with the concrete down, the time fuse up, um, and right now we're at 20 seconds from when I dropped it. If it blew somewhere right about now, that probably would not be horrible. Um, but we're at 30 seconds now. I'd want a good 30 seconds of time fuse on there. So it does float with the uh, time fuse up. It just takes about 30 seconds to stabilize. Pretty stable. Even 45 um, or even a minute to uh, get as stable as it is right now. Um, might have to consider putting a minute of time fuse on it and really securing that time fuse. Uh, it is floating nicely in relation to the equator. That's not bad. It's a little off center, but that's not horrible. I think of that blue right now, it would create pretty much a half dome of stars. So I'm pretty well satisfied with that. The prediction in terms of where it was going to flow. Oh, this shell did end up weighing 19 pounds, a little heavier than the 18 I was predicting. 
that's why it's floating a little bit um, lower with the water a little bit above the one inch line above the equator but I think still think that's fine that those stars would come at it are fine um, well, it's interesting. It's, it, it's floating just about where predicted. It's stabilizing. It's just taking a while to stabilize. So I would, I'd probably want a minute of time fuse on there. So I have to figure out how to do that safely and securely. Um, I'll probably put a tube outside the shell with the excess time fuse sticking outside the shell and reinforce that somehow. Reinforce that tube to uh, protect the time fuse on there. Um, so that's a, that's a. Uh, pretty convincing test this can be made to work Well, one question I have is how this time fuse behaves um, wrapped in aluminum foil tape, encased in hot glue, and then wrapped again in aluminum foil tape like I've done on the uh, water shell. Um, how much does the fuse depend on being able to vent gases out of its sidewall as it burns? Can it shove gases all the way the length of the burned length as it burns, say, down that 17, 18, 19, 20 inches. This is 20 inches of time fuse. Should burn for about a minute because it's three seconds per inch time fuse. So I guess all I can do is test it. This is time fuse wrapped in aluminum foil tape, encased in hot glue, and then wrapped again in aluminum foil tape. Definitely still venting the hot gases out of this initially ignited open end. I don't see any gases coming from the side wall at all anywhere. And it did burn all the way through to the other end. Well, that's a successful test. I like that a lot. So that should work on the water shell.